from Melissa's Creations and today I have a beautiful masculine card for you using the Petal Palette Suite. I just love this card and the sentiment is just perfect to give to that special guy in your life. This says I just love you and then on the inside we have stamped life is so much better with you in it. I think this is a perfect masculine card to give to that special guy in your life. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started making it. We are using a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. This is a standard card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored in the middle at four and a quarter. So we're just gonna fold that in half and use our bone folder to crease. We also have a piece of crumb cake cardstock, which will be our mat for the front of our card. This piece measures three and three quarters by five inches. And we also have a piece of very vanilla cardstock for our mat on the inside of our card. This piece measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. We're also going to need a scrap piece of Knight of Navy cardstock along with a scrap of very vanilla cardstock to cut out our sentiments. We're going to start by stamping our sentiments on our very vanilla pieces. I am using the Petal Palette Suite and for our sentiments on the outside I'm using I Just Love You and for the inside we are using Life is So Much Better with You in it. I have my Knight of Navy Classic Stampin' Pad so we're going to open that up and the sentiment I Just Love You we're going to stamp on our scrap paper here and then we're going to cut it out with our label. And with the other sentiment, life is so much better with you in it, we're going to stamp on the inside mat of our card. I have my big shot here with my magnetic platform and a cutting plate. I'm going to use a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock to cut out the branches for the front of our card. Now, this piece of cardstock here is a standard card base, which I've already scored in the middle. I'm going to use this to cut out my branches because I found that when I cut my branches in certain places on the card front, it would make a really nice card for another project. So with my Petals and More Thinlets dies, we're gonna grab out the branch and get cutting. So I'm gonna place my first branch up in the right hand corner. And I'm gonna kinda of make sure that I have a small border all the way around so that when I do get ready to do this other project, I can put a card mat on the inside. This time I'm going to place the branch in the lower left corner of this card front so that I can get a really nice contrast on this other project when I'm ready to assemble. Doesn't that make a nice card front? I think that will be really cool on another project. Stay tuned to see this card come together. From the same Thinlet dies. We're using this beautiful label here. And we're going to cut out the sentiment, but I'm going to shorten this sentiment with this very vanilla. So I'm putting it all the way over to the left of my words, and I'm going to cut that out. Now that I have that cut out, I'm going to put my framelit back on top of that sentiment, line it up, and then we're going to cut it out again, thus shortening the label. And on a scrap of that Knight of Navy cardstock, we're going to cut out one full label. Now using our fine tip glue pen, we're going to glue those branches down. Now you could use the adhesive sheets to put on the back of your cardstock before you cut these out, but because I cut these out on the front of another card I'm planning, I wanted to make sure that I didn't have a lot of adhesive backing on my card front for my other project. So the fine tip glue pen works just as well. Just take a little bit, a couple of dobbles here and there, and it'll stick down just fine. All 
All right, and now we're going to very carefully place this up in the corner. So we'll put it right up here, set it down, and then I'm gonna take my large acrylic block and I'm just gonna set it right on top so that it puts a little bit of pressure on that and lets the glue stick down to the cardstock. And we'll do the other. While that is working its magic, let's get started on our sentiment. With some fast fuse, I'm going to take my sentiment and I'm gonna glue that straight down to my Knight of Navy piece. I'm just gonna put it right in the center. I'm gonna take a little bit more fast fuse on the back of that. And we're going to take a length of our linen thread and I'm just running it between my thumbnail and my forefinger, my index finger, to straighten that out a little bit. And now we're just gonna do a few loops on the top and the bottom. And to do that, we're going to start right here in the middle. And then we're gonna kinda do some figure eights around. So we'll do a loop here, turn it, do a loop here. And then we'll do kind of a loop in the middle here and another one here. We're going to use up some of our dimensional strips here. We're going to put one up here on the top and another one down here on the bottom. And then we'll put two small pieces on the side. All right, we're going to pop that sentiment up on our card front. Use some dimensionals on the back of that to pop it up onto the card base. And then we'll use some fast fuse to adhere our sentiment on the inside. And there we are, creators. There is our masculine card using the Petal Palette Suite. I hope you enjoyed this project today. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of future videos. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this card today. You can get all the supplies needed to make this card on my website at melissascreations.com. Remember, during celebration happening right now, January through March 31st, every $50 you spend, you qualify for a free item from the celebration brochure. Click on the catalogs link on my website to check out the free options for you. You can also follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash mcreations and on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest with the handle at mcreations. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!